1,200 years of history, radiating the profusion of culture, commerce, art and science developed in Moroccan tradition are expressed in the city of Fez. The jewel of Spanish-Arabic civilization and the spiritual capital of the country receives a London homage by Her Highness Lala Jumala, ambassador of the Kingdom of Morocco. Leighton House, the museum famous for its Arab hall, which displays the Victorian artist's priceless collection of over a thousand Islamic tiles, is theater to the launch of the book, Fez in World History. Giving the opportunity to listen to celebrated intellectuals and government officials present the special heritage the city has to offer. Introducing the evening personalities and host of the talk is Barnaby Rogerson, leading British travel author who amongst his titles has written a history of North Africa and a biography of the Prophet Muhammad. And remember that turning point as a young uh, university student reading Jerome Cocopino, who said, if you ever wish to understand how ancient Rome felt, you must lose yourself in the streets of Fez. And Fez has this unity, it can teach us, and it carries on teaching us things all our lives. Holding a PhD in Comparative Cultural Studies from the University of Indiana, Lassine Haddad, Minister of Tourism of Morocco, has a strong cultural attachment to the city connected to the beginning of his studies. It is within the walls of the Medina, declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981, that we can understand its historical value. The Medina of Fez is an open-air living museum, reinventing its traditions through the work of hundreds of artisans masters and disciples in the small and labyrinthine streets overlooked by minarets, madrasas, and caravans right walls. The best way to, to preserve a tradition is to allow it to swim with the tide of history, is to allow it to change while attempting to keep it authentic. The master artisans of Fez reenact this move every time they create or renovate in design, material, color, or measurement. Coexisting with the old Fez is the other medieval city, Fez El Jadid, white city with its Mella, the Jewish quarter, which is testimony of the exceptional context lived by the Moroccan Jews, as explained by Harvard professor Susan Gilson Miller. There are deep and lasting ties between Moroccan Jews and Moroccan Muslims that survived the present day. The big difference in Morocco is this Jewish presence is not ignored. It's memorialized, it's talked about, it's talked about openly and publicly. In the press, you find articles written by competent historians about the Moroccan Jewish legacy. And you have the support of the government, sometimes non-official, sometimes official, for remembering Jewish history in Morocco. There's a Jewish museum in Casablanca, something that's unthinkable elsewhere in the Arab world. The multiple facets of the city are celebrated in the book's selected essays. The important volume gives an insight on the thoughts of international scholars, united at the 2008 conference in Ifran to celebrate the city's 1200th anniversary of its founding. Illustrating it is one of the curators, Professor Said Enahid. Uh, as you will see uh, in the book, there are a number of chapters, and all of them, at least in the first part of the, of the book, they are dealing with this, analyzing these historical forces that led to this amazing uh, city uh, called Fez. Uh, uh, for example, the Marinid, the dynasty of the Marinid, uh, uh, and their quest for, for empire. Uh, another aspect is to look at art and architecture through the magnificent collection at the American University of Cairo through the photography of uh, Cresswell. The world component of the city is fed through travel narratives and travel literature. It is because of the spirituality and profound enlightening academic life of the city that we're able to learn of its significance for Morocco. As the director of the Fez Festival of World Sacred Music, Fauzi Scali is keen to recall. We found that knowledge is at the heart of society. This is beautifully expressed by the facts 
that the Karawin, one of the most, like it has been said, ancient universities of the world, if not the oldest, was founded by a woman, Fatima al Fihriya, in 859. By the way, it is interesting to mention this here, that a time, that a time when some extremists who present and who pretend to speak in the name of Islam advocate that education and schools for girls should be forbidden. Here we have the exact opposite. For centuries, education at all levels and for everybody was the most important realization of the cultural tradition of Islam. Culture is not only written in words, but also in notes, as the heritage of Arab Andalusian music demonstrates. Performed by the Andalusian Orchestra of Fez and conducted by world-renowned Mohamed Bruel, director of the city's conservatories, the evening festivities proved a success with the literary and society crowd who have been brought closer to the pride of Morocco. The Medina is absolutely amazing. It's so, uh, it, it's the largest, I think, continuously inhabited uh, medieval city in the world. And when, when you step in its alleyways, you feel like you're stepping back in time. Very interesting uh, presentation this evening. I learnt a lot about Fez. I don't know much about the city beforehand, so it was fascinating to learn more about the city of Fez and its history and, and the beauty and all it can offer to the um, traveller and the tourist. So many years ago, before there were motorways, and my husband and I drove all the way from Marrakesh via Rabat and, of course, the wonderful Fez, where we stayed. So I had a particular interest tonight in learning a bit more about the history of Fez. And uh, it's really, it's a beautiful country. The people were absolutely charming. 